This is the famous formula for gravitational potential energy. But where does it come from? Let's prove it. Just like the video for kinetic energy, the basis of our proof will be the physics fact that work done is always equal to the energy transferred. Say there is a ball of mass m acted on by a constant force f that lifts it up to a certain height h. Then the work done in lifting the ball, the work done against gravity, is f times h. Now assuming that this lifting happened at a constant velocity, then this force must exactly counteract the force of gravity so that the acceleration would be zero. In other words, f must be equal to mg. So the work done is equal to mg times h. Now the work done is equal to the change in potential energy. And since the ball started with zero potential energy, then mgh must be equal to the final potential energy of the ball, which means that the gravitational potential energy at any height is given by mg times h. Now, you may argue that this proof is not very rigorous because we assume the condition of constant velocity, in other words, zero acceleration. So, if you have a more rigorous proof that's more expansive and doesn't necessarily rely on such a condition, please go ahead and share it in the comments down below.